Imagine a bunch of ants walking on a straight line. Each ant walks either left or right and moves at a constant speed of one foot per minute. Whenever two ants bump into each other, they both reverse directions. To make the problem simpler, let's assume reversing directions takes no time at all. When an ant reaches the end of the log, it jumps off. If the log is two feet long, how long will it take for all the ants to fall off? You might measure the time it takes for each ant to reach the end of the log and find the ant that takes the longest time. But all of the collisions make tracking the ants really complicated. However, there is a simpler way to determine when the last ant jumps off. What if you think of the ants as passing through each other instead of bouncing off each other? If you don't care which ant is which, there's no difference between the two perspectives. Either way, after two ants meet, there is an ant moving in each direction. If you think of the ants as passing through each other, the longest time that an ant can stay on the log is two minutes, the time needed for an ant to walk from one end of the log to the other. So all of the ants will jump off the log in two minutes or less. Aren't you clever for figuring this out? Thank you.